for most people, like, stop vlogging. It doesn't work. Wrong. Vlogging is definitely not dead if you do it the right way. Now the fact of the matter is that in 2022, these kind of random day-to-day -day lifestyle vlogs don't work anymore. But the kind of vlogs that do work are strategic vlogs that gives the audience some kind of value. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Creating for yourself is stupid. First, we of course have to define what a vlog actually is to talk more about what works and what doesn't. Vlogging has evolved over the years, and for most people, when they think about vlogging, they think about people like Casey Neistat with the Joby Gorilla Pod documenting his daily life. But for 90-90% of people, that doesn't work anymore. Because the thing is that no one cares because no one knows you yet. Now, before you comment something like, what about this creator, what about that creator, hear me out. Hear me out. Now that the glory days of vlogging are over, why is Matty Hapoya's YouTube channel so successful? Because essentially all of his videos are vlogs. And why does Peter Lindgren, why does his vlog channel get so many views every time he posts a new video? Well, first of all, Peter Lindgren has on his main channel over half a million subscribers. So that's quite a lot of people who know who he is. And out of those half a million people, there are quite a lot of people who are actually kind of like super fans and really into everything he does and they are emotionally invested in the guy and feel like they have a personal relationship to him. Also, you have to remember that those kind of people who are able to post any kind of videos on YouTube, no matter how crappy those videos are, and still get millions and millions of views, those people are unicorns and you can't replicate what they're doing. If you're a small creator like me, what you need to do is to think about vlogs as a video format, a way to deliver information that will help your audience and give them value. But how can you do it? How can you give value by making vlogs? Before you start filming your vlog, you should always start by planning your title, thumbnail, and the actual topic of the video just like with any other YouTube video. Always keep in mind that what's the incentive for the viewer to keep watching your video, even if they have no idea who you are. For example, in my situation, I could do a review of a camera in a vlog format, and I'm going through my day and communicating something throughout the day that's valuable information for the viewer. When you think about it from your viewer's perspective, when they click on your video, the title and the thumbnail, the video's topic shouldn't expand much further from what they clicked on for. In other words, what you shouldn't do is title the video something like Canon R5 review, and then when they click on your video, it's like 10 minutes of you walking your dog at the park and then one minute of you reviewing the Canon R5. You know what I mean? What I would do, and what actually I will do in the future is make my vlog answer at least one question that my viewer has in mind, or solve at least one problem that my viewer has. That way I can make sure that my vlog is actually delivering something and actually giving some value to the viewer. And to be honest, even though vlogging isn't the same as it used to be, it's still a great way to build relationship and a great way to build influence because it is so personal. And by the way, all of the things that I just shared with you in this video, there's so much traffic that I can't even hear my own voice. If you found this video helpful and want to make even better vlogs, then I highly recommend that you click on either one of these videos somewhere here on the screen because I think you're going to find them helpful.
All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.